Liv and welcome back to my channel. You can see from the title of today's video, um, I'm going to be showing you an updated dog room tour. I did do some reorganization in order to make it completely the dog's room. I sacrificed my desk and put it somewhere else. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, let's get started. The first thing I wanted to mention is that I got these curtains um, because the doors are all glass um, if we're gone and we leave them in here. I don't want them to be able to see out because we do live with one other person. So if that person comes out of their room, um, I don't want them to start barking at him. So that is why I put up these curtains. This one's currently tied up because they are allowed to go in and out. But once they are in here and we close the door, I'll put down the curtain. So when you walk into the room on the right, there is a um, couch. This is an old part of an L-shaped couch that I saved just for this room. I did recently clean it, so it looks a lot better than it did yesterday. Um, and then we have this little Annie plushie here, uh, two pillows, and then a little blanket. This is mostly for me to hang out, but the dogs do use it quite a bit. Hi! As you can see where Elsie is sniffing, um, we do have a few coats. These are just mostly their coats that they use the most. Um, so we've got the three winter ones, a raincoat, another like winter one. This is a Christmas one. I might replace it with something else because I only really use that in December. But I kept this here um, mostly because I don't have extra command hooks and I have nowhere to move them. So this was just kind of the most ideal place. If I buy more command hooks, I might move them to a different wall, but for now, that is where they will be. If you look over by the window, because of their sunbathing habits, um, especially Annie loves to sunbathe, as I mentioned in my previous video, um, I did leave the two dog beds in the mat here. We've also got their little toy box here as well. That's not even half their toys. Half of them are scattered throughout the rest of the house, but these two have a lot of toys. You guys are so spoiled. Yeah. I've also got two aloe plants here just because they need direct sunlight. So they're really cute though, and they've grown quite a bit. My aunt gave them to me, so that is gonna stay there for now. Moving over to the left, we have the pee pad in the same place. I just washed it, so it is all clean. Um, this wall is pretty empty, so I think I'm gonna put some art up here and here. We were thinking of getting pictures of the dogs to put up there. Um, so I might make another video or just post on Instagram when that uh, happens. We did have an extra hook here, so I just decided to hang up their pajamas, their matching pajamas over here. This is Elsie's and the blue and green one is Annie's. I think it looks kind of cute there, so I might leave it, but I actually just had an extra hook that I didn't want to throw away. So that's where that's going to be for now, but I think it's pretty cute. All right, and then the th another thing I did change is that, um, I mean, besides changing the whole structure of the room, really, um, I did get this shelf that we were using in a different room, and I decided to put all the dog stuff on it because the tiny bookshelf just wasn't cutting it. Um, and I was actually able to store a lot of their things on this shelf, and I will go into a more in-depth explanation later in the video. Another thing I wanted to mention is I finally have a lamp in here. I used to just rely on the natural light and the light from the other room, but now that I put curtains up, I needed a little extra light in here. So I had this extra lamp and I was like, why not put it in here? It's so cute. Moving over, I have this little plant hanger that I decided to put the pet camera on. Um, yeah, this has proven really useful when we're gone and we can see what the dogs are doing since we do keep them in here when we are not home. And then I have this cute little dog thing. It's supposed to light up, but it's, I think it's out of battery or something. But anyways, it still looks cute. So that's there. This tent I got at Winners. Um, it is Elsie's favorite. And I put her a little puppy bed, the first bed that we ever got her in front of it, just cause I didn't know where else to put it. And it's nice to have some extra cushion when you're stepping out of it. She used to sleep in it, but she stopped sleeping in it. So I decided to move it in here. And I'm really glad I did cause it's so cute. I really like it. I kind of want to get another one, but they're like 60 bucks, so I might have to wait on that. Another thing I did want to mention for the shelf area, um, we did order an air purifier, my boyfriend and I, so that will be getting here soon. I believe we're going to get two, and one will go in this room, um, just because Annie does shed. Elsie doesn't shed that much, but 
Annie sheds quite a bit and um, it would be nice to have something to pick up all the dust and the odors because um, this room just smells like dog honestly and um, just to pick up all the dust and stuff would be really good and it just would make the air quality a lot better. I would open the window but like it's on the ground and it opens like from the bottom and I do not feel comfortable opening the windows in here because of the dogs because I don't want them to fall out. That's like my worst fear. So unless I'm in the room and I'm actively watching this area, I never open the window. You are so cute, aren't you? You are so cute. Why are my hands so shaky? Oh my God. Oh, Elsie's coming up too. You wanna come with your sister? Oh, oh, are you guys gonna fight? Oh my God. It's safe to say that they're enjoying this room. Elsie wants to play with Annie currently, but Annie's not really having it. Um, yeah. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Don't be fighting ASMR. They're just playing, but it looks like they're fighting some. So now I will show you guys um, kind of how I organize the dog shelf and where stuff is, what shelf has what on it. I'm not gonna do a too in-depth thing because I am ordering some stuff later. I'm gonna make a TikTok of um, kind of restocking and reorganizing it. Um, but yeah, that should be happening in a few hours. I did make an order for some stuff, so it should be arriving soon. And I'm gonna make a TikTok, kind of like ASMR, um, reorganizing, restocking. I, I love watching those videos, like, um, of pet stuff, so I'm really excited to do that. Okay, on the top shelf, we have just some stock of food. These bags are quite small, and because I have two dogs, we go through them quite quickly. So, um, I did take the liberty of going to the pet store and getting about three bags. We've already gone through one of them, so these are the last two. This one's already been opened, but it should last us quite a bit compared to just buying one at a time. And then we have this little wiener dog plushie. I think it's from like a, a movie. I'm not even sure what movie it's from, but Elsie had already gone into it, as you can see from the loose thread. So I put it up here because I don't want her to destroy it. She has enough toys already. All right, moving on to the food shelf. Um, this is just where I store a lot of their kibble for, you know, convenience because it's annoying to get the bag down. Um, so I just put it in here and then we have a scooper. I do half a cup twice a day. So they're each getting half, like a full cup a day, which is about right for their size and weight. They're about the same weight. So uh, yeah, and then we have some treats, like some training treats, some greenies. They already had a greenie today. Um, and then I keep their food bowls, whatever they don't eat, they didn't really quite finish it this morning. They're bad about eating in the morning, but they definitely eat all their food at night. And then the next day they'll eat all their food in the morning because they're hungry. Um, we're still getting used to like scheduled feedings, um, but yeah, that is just what we're dealing with. So I also have to be in the room or else they won't eat, <laughs> especially Annie. Um, but anyways, I got this cute little Halloween bowl. It is Halloween today while I'm filming this. But this one's so spooky, and then the water bowl says boo. I will show you guys later. Anyways, um, that's that. And then I have this jug that I use to fill up their water bowls instead of bringing their bowls to the kitchen unless I'm washing them. Travel water bottles, some kibble toppers. I just have a bag of um, dog food in case we need to take some on the go. Um, yeah, that is the second shelf. The third shelf is really aesthetically pleasing to me for some reason. I found some baskets in my home. Um, that I'm using to store stuff. So this one's kind of like the cleaning. We've got some Febreze to Febreze to Nature's Miracle. Um, another Arm and Hammer cleaner, uh, just like a doggy toothbrush set, and then a roll of paper towel. I've also got some pet wipes and some microfiber gloves that I use to dry them off, like on a day like today when it's raining. And then we've got a huge basket full of poop bags, which is a necessity, honestly. And then moving on to the kind of extension of the third shelf, I've got some paw balm that the dogs did try and get into, as you can see. We got some winter boots, so we only have a few left. I think I'm gonna buy better ones for when, because winter is coming and it's gonna snow soon probably, so I gotta get on that. And then we have this little training treat pouch um, for training. It like hooks onto your pants. It's really useful. I've used it a few times. 
um, but in the winter I know training is a lot hotter because um, harder because my dogs don't like to walk in the snow at least Annie does not Moving on to the second to last shelf, this is an area I want to organize even further. We've kind of got miscellaneous leashes and old harnesses in here, as well as two brushes. Um, this one is more like, has two random sweaters in it, as well as a poop bag holder, a bunch of accessories. Like, we got a pride bone here, we got some sunglasses, we got some bandanas and bows, um, and two of Annie's old collars, so that I also need to reorganize I hate this shelf and then we have a um grooming kit back there which I bought a while ago when I was having trouble um with getting Annie a groomer that would groom her because she kept getting rejected so I had to like groom her myself at one point um anyways I did find a groomer who was able to do it she is amazing um if you are in the Toronto area and looking for a groomer I can recommend her to you um she is awesome. She is so patient and kind and Annie's super displays super fear-based aggression towards her but she is always like Annie did so well and I'm like what do you mean? Anyways she's super sweet so um yeah if anyone wants to know where I take Annie I will um just leave a comment and I'll let you know down below. Moving on to the final shelf it's really accessible to them so I don't want to put too much stuff down here that they can get into but we just have a boredom buster puzzle a licky mat and these old like dirty bowls um i need to clean that and because once halloween's over i might start using them again since the boo and spooky ones are out of season i don't really want to use them as i mentioned i do pick up their food bowls um once it's been 20 minutes after their feeding time if they're done with their meal or not i take pick it up regardless because they're learning how to feed at scheduled times how to be fed at scheduled times so um, transitioning from free feeding to scheduled feeding is always a little bit hard. It's been a while since we started and it's hard to keep a consistent routine um, Once since we didn't do that before. When I got Annie, she was free fed, so I didn't want to transition her right away. So I waited until she was kind of fully integrated into the family to do that. And um, with Elsie as well, we had to wait till she was off of puppy food. Um, so yeah, that's why we have started it now. Um, so that they're eating the same thing and they don't eat each other's food. Um, but anyways, these are the two water bowls. Um, I, again, this one says boo and I showed you the other one that says spooky. Um, yeah, and that's Elsie's, that's Annie's. They kind of feed out of what, why are you licking me? Oh, that was a big yawn. <laughs> so that is that. Annie is sitting on it, but I forgot to mention we also have this beautiful snuffle mat. Um, sometimes if they're not super into eating at the time, um, I will sprinkle the kibble on their snuffle mat just a little bit so I make sure they eat it all before feeding time is over. But they really enjoy like sniffing and foraging. Elsie, this is such a chaotic video. Anyways, uh, they really enjoy sniffing and foraging for it. So sometimes I'll put some little treats on there as well. Um, again, I did order more treats. So I'm probably going to be doing a little restocking video once it all gets here. Okay guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed seeing what the dog room looks like now. Again, I will probably um, continue to make improvements on it and move stuff around just because that's how I am and I can't let things sit still for too long. I love reorganizing um, rooms and like moving stuff around. So that's probably gonna be a part three to this at some point. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.